Hey, so in this video, I want to show you how to create a new node type in Anki and then also how to create new card types for the node type you created. I will show this for the example of Chinese vocabulary, but you can do this for any kind of cards and notes you want to create for any kind of topic. So I've created this, this demo deck, which is just called Chinese demo. And now I will click add. And as you see, this is just the basic card type, um, but we want to create our own card type. So we click on this type field and then we can just click manage, which will show us all the, the node types we already have, but we can just add a new one and choose a basis for the new node type, which is like the starting point from which we can then even further like edit the node type we created. So we will just choose basic because it's very, very simple and we can build up from that basically. So we click OK and then we give it a name and we call it minimal, minimal vocab. So after we created it, it will also appear here. Yes, minimal vocab. So we can just choose it. And right now it's basically still the basic card type. But that's no problem. We can just edit the fields here. Um, we have front and back right now, but let's change it. We rename front to, to Hanse, which is like the Chinese symbols. We edit the back and name it to Pinin, which is the pronunciation. And then we also add an English field for the translation. And then we save it. So now we can, we can add Hanse and we can add a Pinin and we can add an English translation. And we can add that card to our database. But now if we want to study it, at first we can um, browse our cards and we see there's only one card. Um, and if we want to study it, we will see it's only from the direction of Hanse to pin in. And that's not what we want. We want to see the English translation and we also want to have it in the other direction from English to Hanse and, and pin in. So how to do that? Um, it's pretty straightforward. If we go back to our cards, we can edit the Hanse note type by clicking cards. And there we can see there's like a template which shows us how the card is displayed when we study it. But we can also just create a new card type. For this new card type, we can just change all the fields. Like what is shown on the card is is like binded to the name of the fields we created earlier. So this side should be from, from English to, to Chinese basically. So we say English on the front side and we can just rename the fields on the back side for pin in, which is okay. And then we can add the other type, which is Hanse. And we can add a line break in between with basic HTML um, syntax. And we can also change the other card type since we, since we also wanted to add the, the English on the back side. And we can also add a line break in between here. Sorry. In between here. Well, that didn't work. In between here. And then we save it. And as you can see, we now have two cards, even though we created only one node. So this will create two separate cards from one node. And if we want to study it now, we can see now we all also have the side from English to Chinese. We just already studied Chinese to English, but now we also have English to Chinese. So we have both directions from one node. And yes, that's how you create a new node type and create separate card types from the node type which you then study separately. And you can use this for any kind of card type you can imagine. And you can also style it however you want with basic HTML syntax. I hope this video was useful and thanks for watching.